Good morning. Today was plant care day. So I watered all of them, gave them little haircuts, especially this fern right here. She needed a haircut, cut some dead leaves, watered all of them except for these two and that one over there. Still got to do some stuff to them. I guess I could take the tinfoil off since there's no cat here to climb in there. So I'm four episodes into Archive 81, which is like a... I would say psychological thriller. I watch um, Spooky Astronauts and so far into it, I think she, her description of the empty man mixed with, um, oh God, I don't remember, but a movie about restoring tapes is very on it. We are once again going to the vet because Eli has eaten a little bit in the last couple of days. And by a little bit, I mean, Part of that cat tube and a little dry food and he has worms so he's not getting any fucking nutrients i just picked him up to put him in his kennel homie is like straight up bones this poor cat he's just not having a good time not having a good go so we're gonna go to the vet get him fixed been to Winners, I have been to Goodwill, I have bought nothing, which is impressive, obviously. It's also been like an hour and a half almost, and I'm getting hungry and I want to go home, so I think I'm going to go see if he's done, even though I haven't gotten a call. So he was constipated, so they gave him an enema. He had worms, so he was dewormed. They gave him fluids because he was incredibly dehydrated. They said that this all should make him eat, hopefully. Um, he pooped in his carrier because of the enema on the way home, so I gave him a bath, and he was such a good boy. He is so timid, but like if you're holding him, he's too scared to do anything. And he just like, he was just like, eh, I hate it. But like, I got him all clean and I held him in a bunch of towels and was just walking around the house with him like a little baby. And he is so light. Like he is, when I say a bag of bones, like he is, he needs to gain a lot of weight. Um, so I had cleaned all his bowls and Cooper had cleaned out the litter box and cleaned up the bathroom a little bit. And he is now up there. He's got freeze-dried food that I got him from the pet store. He's got one of his little kitty yogurt treat, not actually a yogurt treat, but it's one of those like yogurt tubes for cats sort of things. Um, he's got wet food and he has his dry food and he has water. So he has a fucking plethora of options and I am intentionally staying a floor down so I'm not disturbing him or like making him scared. I just need him to like decompress and fucking eat something. Hi guys, today we are doing a fun day with my mom. We're gonna go for brunch and maybe go see a movie. And it's gonna be good. And then tomorrow, pardon, me and Cooper are gonna kind of redo our workout room. They like plowed and graded everything except for the fucking back roads. And those are the ones that are like, oh. Lana Wachowski, the writer and visionary loss. I saw this. Okay, so first of all, this is what happens when you leave salt tanner on your face just a little too long that it looks insanely crazy for how pale I actually am. And secondarily, we watched Scream 5, also known as Scream, because of course they called it that. And I want to do a ranking video. I want to do like a whole video just talking about Scream and my thoughts. But I got to say overall, I liked it. I kind of want to do like a rewatch of the second and the third just to see where I would place it, but I enjoyed it. I thought it was good. I might watch those tonight. Scream isn't like my favorite movie series, but it is one that the more that I watch it, the more that I appreciate it. 